Welcome to Always Analog, where we explore the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And we've got a pencil review today. I'm going to be looking at these Papermate Murado pencils. I picked these up recently at a closeout store locally here uh, in Michigan. And... Um, I had not seen these before and I have a feeling the reason I haven't seen these is because they are pencils that are really marketed for another region of the world, certainly not the U.S. market. Um, it's completely in Spanish actually, everything on the, the pencil box here. Um, and I'm going to ask your uh, forgiveness now, my Spanish is not great, but uh, we can look and see what is on this box. Papermate Murado, new colors, and uh, it's got a cutaway here. You can see um, there's a tan color and a pink, and graphite pencils. Um, here are uh, the colors. Uh, of the the pencil barrels um, looks like a tan and a pink probably what's showing through here and then it looks like I'm not sure if that's blue a dark navy and a green um, 12 there's 12 pencils in here 12 pieces and you'll also notice that it is triangular the uh, pencil itself and I think we've seen these around um, it's a triangular shaped pencil uh, number two and here on the side of the box you can see there's an image of the pencil and familiar uh, if you're familiar with the Murado has a red band that goes around the ferrule um, and um, there's on this side it is a color of a tan pencil again with the red barrel looks like the, the erasers are purple um, then we'll see what we can find on the back here so Papermate pencils or Papermate Murado triangular um, Okay, it looks like um, the pencil is in a triangular shape. Um, the pencils are number two, uh, grade, graphite grade, ideal for standardized tests, um, smooth and intense. Um, eraser does not stain or tear paper. Um, red band, a symbol of controlled quality and modern and fun design. So there you go. And then we also have some other clues back here. Uh, copyright 2016. So that must be when these pencils were marketed. Uh, Newell Rubbermaid, um, Incorporated, Sanford, Columbia. Uh, so there's the uh, the corporate uh, headquarter, the headquarters or the office, perhaps telephone number. Um, Newell Rubbermaid of Mexico, again, address, telephone number. Then we see here, uh, even though uh, this is for perhaps Mexico, Central or South American markets, made in Vietnam. That's where the pencils were made. Uh, it looks like made without rainforest wood, non-toxic. Um, conforms to these um, 
statutes here, no Rubbermaid. Okay, so there it is. The um, Mexican, perhaps, or Central South American um, Murado pencil. So let's let's open this carton up and take some out. See we, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna take out one of each color. They're pre-sharpened. Um, let's see. Pink and green. Okay. So here they are. Um, two of them have pink erasers and two of them have purple erasers. And they all have, say, the same thing on them. Papermate Murado uh, has the sort of the triangle shape and a two. And it is in sort of a silver chromatic foil imprint there. So that is the same on all of the pencils. Um, same imprint, same color. Again, here we see the eraser in pink. And here we see the eraser in purple. Um, yeah, fun colors. I could see where especially uh, kids would like these, but I can see big kids liking the, the color too. Now we'll get to the shape. Let's see if we can, if the camera can, I think, there you go. You can see the shape of the pencil. It is triangular. Um, and some people like the triangular shape as a, um, uh, a way, a better way, a more comfortable way to grip a writing instrument. I believe the uh, Papermate uh, Ink Joy pens are also triangular, sort of shaped as well. So I don't know if that's a Papermate thing, although I've, I've seen them in, I know uh, Ticonderoga makes a, um, uh, I think it's called a Triconderoga, a triangular shaped pencil. I think I have some, I'll have to do a review. but. Um, Anyways, the Murado, which I think is a Spanish word, actually. Um, not sure what it means. Uh, if anybody can translate, please let me know. But here it is, pre-sharpened. So you know what? Uh, let's take these for a test drive and see how they perform. So here it is, uh, again, we are talking about a triangular pencil. Since they are pre-sharpened uh, and triangular, it is hard to really discern the alignment of the graphite core. They all look fairly centered to me. Um, they could be off a little bit. It's sort of hard to tell um, with the point that they have on them. But um, assuming that Everything else is the same other than the color of the barrel and the eraser. Uh, we'll, we'll try these out. At first, uh, I will tell you they, they're a comfortable pencil to hold. There is something about that triangular shape that, you know, you really generally have three fingers on a pencil. Um, you know, your thumb your index finger, your middle finger, and because of the triangular shape, you find that you have a finger placed on each side of the pencil, uh, unlike, say, a hexagonal uh, pencil. Um, so it, it, it just lends itself to sort of the three-finger hold of the pencil, um, and I like that. Okay, now they said it was smooth and bold, and I will tell you, it is smooth, and you know what, a pretty bold 
line. There you'll see it better. Hmm. Yeah, it is a very smooth writing pencil. Um, very nice. I would say, perhaps, again, hard to tell if it's the triangular sharpening here, that the core almost looks a little thicker. Uh, the circumference a little larger. I don't know if it is more so than say a standard Murado would be uh, if they put a different core in this triangular one, but it is a smooth, soft, bold, easy pencil to use and to write with, very much so. Um, we'll do an eraser test here. Okay, um, first, well, we've got a little smudge, uh, a little drag here on the line, not surprised. Because um, it does have a softer feel to it. Let's see how the eraser on the pencil. Now, if these, are, if these pencils was copyrighted 2016, they may be four years old, and if so, that could impact the performance of the eraser. May have gotten a bit dried out, and hardened up. And uh, I think that is in part the case. Looking at the eraser, might be a bit dry. Um, it's not doing a great job. Uh, so, Let's go into our, our eraser stash here and try a couple different ones. We'll try the Mars plastic on it. Well, there, I think you can clearly see this is doing a better job than the attached eraser. How about a Pink Pearl, another paper-made product here? Yeah, better. Um, I don't know if, you know, you wonder sometimes because Paper Mate makes the pink pearl in the pencil. Uh, is, is the formulation of the pink pearl different than the formulation of the pencil that they put on the ferrule here? Because um, the pink pearl performs much better. Or is it the case that this eraser is just a little dried out? Um, and the pink pearl isn't, maybe. Uh, we'll try a, um, let's try our Hartmuth rubber eraser. Okay. Um, Art gum. Well, they're all performing pretty good compared to the attached eraser here. A 
let's see, what else do we have? Let's try to have any softy. So, not great with the attached eraser, but almost any other eraser that you might have seems to do a, a better job. Uh, I'm going to, I will say the point retention is such that it needs to sharpen. I'm going to try to sharpen it in a manual here. See how it does, given triangular shape. Uh, sharpens nicely. Um, not sure what the wood is. Again, it said it was non-rainforest. But uh, it is a wood pencil and uh, has a fairly even and nice sharpened. Okay, we'll try doing some more writing. It really is a very nice writing pencil. Quiet too. It is a soft core though, I will say. This is a pencil that um, you're going to sharpen a lot. But I'm, I am finding it to be pretty comfortable overall. Okay, well, here is the colorful Papermate Murado um, and I'll say that um, the colors are great, uh, the paint jobs on the pencils are pretty nice and um, they're, you know, not the like bright glow-in-the-dark super fluorescent, but they are um, kind of, uh, they're glossy um, and they are a nice looking group of pencils. Love the ferrule, which is sort of a brassy colored with the red band uh, and then you have the the eraser of purple or pink at the top. Very nice. So 
uh, I guess I would say that this really is a, a good pencil uh, made again in Vietnam um, but it is a bold pencil it is a smooth pencil uh, and it is a, a easy writing pencil and uh, fairly good erasability providing you don't use the eraser attached so glad I found these and I'll enjoy writing with them so thank you for spending some time with me for this pencil review we'll see you back here on always analog again real soon bye for now